my maniacs. It's a lot of M's. Morning my maniacs. How y'all doing? I'm doing fantastic. I know that you give a shit. I am currently on my way to a meeting. Uh, what meeting, might you ask? Well, don't be so eager. I'll tell you. <clears throat> I took a GED test or a similar test to a GED called CHAPSI in high school in 10th grade and I got out because I was old enough. However, um, before that, when I was still back in Armenia and Russia and trying to get my ass over to the Americas, uh, I missed some education of third, second and third grade. And that's important, you know? This bad juju of missing school kind of followed me through my whole life. So I ended up not really liking school. I was really good. Like if you ask any of my middle school and elementary school friends, they'll tell you I was great. However, high school kind of kicked my ass. I started with a broken leg. The sophomore year, I broke my hand. Shit went down. It wasn't the high school that I wanted to go to. Many reasons. After I got out of high school, I went to college for two years. And that's when I decided that I'm going to stop school and focus on my career. As I continued my days, I understood that education is a fucking important thing to have, man. No matter where you are in life, no matter how successful you are, no matter what career you choose, dude, get your ass in school, get a bachelor's degree if, if you have to and get out. Now I'm at that stage. I haven't gotten my bachelor's degree yet. I'm 23 and I've been so happy where I'm at in life right now. However, I, I understood that school is just a missing puzzle that I want filled. So now, I'm on my way to meet with a guidance counselor or something at uh, Art Institute. My meeting is in 10 minutes. I am running a little late, per usual. That's just my lifestyle. I hate planning anything. I'm a little privileged, I gotta say. Shout out to my mom for being fucking awesome. She's a professor and a teacher at multiple schools and colleges. Now, one of them happens to be AI, Art Institute. And since she's a professor at Art Institute, that gives me the opportunity to go to school, wait for it, free! How fucking awesome is that? And the point of the meeting is just that, to figure out uh, whether I'm going to be able to juggle school, dance, acting, work, and all things universe has to throw at your face uh, into my schedule. I really hope it does. This will be awesome. Getting my bachelor's degree. Ooh, I can, I can see it, you know? But just gotta keep my fingers crossed. The educational system is so ancient. They, it's hard to focus when the motherfucker is talking, man. How, like, jeez. I can't. Give me individual, undivided attention when you're talking about a certain subject so I can grasp it and give a fuck. If you don't give a fuck about me learning, how am I supposed to give a fuck about what you have to teach, bitch? I know the subject is important, but if you don't have a delivery, if you don't have a way, a proper, entertaining, exciting method of teaching, I'm not gonna just sit there and be dumbed away, just bleh. All right, I gotta text this guy to let him know that I'm here. Oh my God, my phone will fucking... I swear, I feel like there's a ghost that follows me around and just knocks shit out of my hands. I am approaching the building right now, guys. About to park. There won't be service, so uh, I might lose you guys. Because this is a live stream. Look at this asshole trying to fucking squeeze in. Asshole. There's so much shit that you didn't know about that you have to do even before you even before you get into the fucking classroom. Like fuck. I just want to have a man on the inside that just can take care of all that shit for me, and I can just pass the classes and have a fucking diploma and say fuck you all. 
Bruce Baba. Why is this taking forever? All right, found parking. See you guys. Here I am. Ah, uh, walking to the interview room, AKA school. I will get back to you after the meeting. Peace. I'm waiting. All right, now I'm waiting for the financial advisor. Uh, so far, they've explained to me all the classes that I need to take and all the classes that I'm going to take and uh, how long it's going to take. This is exciting. Uh, it looks like things are going to work out. I am waiting for him to come back with some more water. He asked me if I wanted water the first time he left and he didn't bring it with him. Let's see if he brings it with him the second time. <laughs> He did bring the water. Looks like I'm gonna be starting school in October. I'm going to go to school for digital cinema and video production. This is exciting. All right, guys. Please let me get back to waiting. You dropped your shit. Double knot, always double knot so you don't have to face that problem. Come on, you can do this. Through the loop, then tighten it, then, ooh. Oh, loop it again. Oh, looks like he's got it. You good? Can you see me? I don't know if you can see me or not. Can you see me? Can you see me? You did it. His own loss gets to miss out on this. So mom, if this wasn't for you, I'd be paying over $95,000 to go to the school. But since I am your son and you do work here, I get to pay zero. My pockets stay as empty as they were. Not more empty, just the same. Thank you. Putting my information into the school system right now. Have you been convicted of or pled guilty to a crime? Hmm, no. Just leaving the interview right now. Looks like I have an assignment already. Um, whoo, no ticket. Got it. Okay, uh, I have to submit an essay for admissions before I get enrolled into the school. They gotta see that I speak good English, you know. <laughs> And then after that, I should be settled in and start in October. This is gonna be a life-changing opportunity, but the irony in all of this is that when I was five years old, still back in Armenia, my parents decided to take me to school. The only reason they thought this would work was because my mom was a teacher at uh, the school in Armenia and figured that if I was there with my mom, it would be okay. However, the fuck, I'm blocking an intersection. However, the school board decided that, nah, we don't think it's a good idea that he should be going to school at five, he's too young. I'm smart as fuck. What, you gonna tell me that a five-year-old is incapable of doing what a six-year-old is gonna be doing? Fuck your... Well, anyway, so they kicked, they took me out of school. Uh, but it was fun because my mom was my arts teacher for like a day. And uh, I didn't know whether to call her mom or Miss Hofsepian. But the joke didn't last because I didn't stay long enough. So then I went back to school when, again when I was seven years old. Uh, a year later and that wasn't exciting I was older than everyone in my class for the rest of my life even in America but anyway the irony is that now I get to go to the same school that she teaches at but this time I get her hookup you know what I mean you know what I mean with all that said and done my fellow maniacs it has been an honor to be with you for the last hour 
Are you fucking cocksucker? You understand? Make sure you fucking subscribe. Make sure you fucking like. Make sure you comment and you share my fucking video. I spread a fucking God. I'm gonna chop off your fucking balls and feed it to your fucking family. Hey! I'm gonna fucking chop off your fucking balls and feed it to your fucking family. Bitch! Bitch!